thank you, thank you. And what an honour it is on behalf of uh, Premier Chris Minns and the Minister for Multiculturalism, Steve Camp, to be invited by this, uh, by the one, our wonderful hosts. And I want to mention in particular the President of the Sikh Youth Council of Australia, Mr. Satwan Singh Kales, and of course the President of the Young Sikh Professionals uh, Network, Amadeep Singh, who have put this together tonight, and it's a wonderful initiative, and it's great that we can all come together and celebrate the excellent contributions of the Sikh community to our, our very vibrant and growing multicultural community in New South Wales. I do want to start by, as has been said before tonight, by recognising the traditional and original owners of the lands on which we meet, the Indigenous peoples of Australia. And I will, without labouring the point, make special mention of this very, very important democratic process, which we all as a community will participate on in later in the year, where we get the opportunity, the opportunity, a once in a lifetime opportunity to recognise the Indigenous peoples of this nation as our first peoples in the constitution and to simply allow them to have a voice to the government of the day on the matters that will affect them. And I would put it to you that until we can do that as a nation, we will never truly be a mature nation. And part of tonight is about recognising the concept of seva, the transcending of the individual self and service to humanity. What could be more important than recognising that and manifesting that by, by getting that, uh, that proposition up later in the year? But uh, I do want to make um, just some general observations about why this is so important. You go to many of these events and um, since taking on this role as parliamentary secretary, it's been a great honour to understand why Australia and New South Wales has developed into such a progressive, forward-looking um, polity. And that is because as a, as a nation, around about the 70s and 80s, we started to realise that if we actually embrace different cultures and respect those cultures and actually value them for the, the, the benefit that they bring to the country and the nation, it makes us a stronger nation. Why? It's quite simple. If you have a multiplicity of different perspectives and thoughts uh, feeding into your body politic, uh, whether it's in the fields of uh, business or sport or culture or language, it makes you more open to new ideas and it actually brings people together because diversity is strength. And this is where I think the Sikh community has been so valuable. Um, and this concept that I touched on before of SEVA, where um, at a very deep spiritual level, uh, I think the idea is, is that in order to realise yourself as a true human being, you've got to forget yourself and, and service your fellow human beings not in a self-aggrandizing way, but in a selfless way to truly manifest what it means to be a human being and live a good life. And I think the Sikh community exemplifies that. And tonight's awards, and I want to acknowledge all the excellent winners we've had so far and the other four or five to come, because it's you we're celebrating for that example you're giving about what it means to be a true human being and the concept of Seva. So again, on behalf of Premier Minns and Minister Camper, I want to thank you for the honour for inviting us all along here tonight, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.